Hey, how's it going? Big Yumbo here. Um, I made a little list while I was in the thrift of brands that were good that I found over the last two weeks. Um, and I find a couple new brands every week that have a high salter rate and like a certain item, but I haven't really uh, dove deep into any of these brands. I just know the one item that's good. So I wanted to show you how I go about researching something more um, intensely when I get home. So the other day when I was in the thrift, I found a camo shirt and the brand was Cryptek. So let's look up the sell through rate on Cryptek camo. Let's move this. Cryptek camo shirt. I think that's actually mine, the first one there. So there's 88 listed and then sold 94 sold so total including both new and used it's over 100 percent sell through it and then i like to sort by the prices cryptic so it looks like well pre-owned pullover sold for 65 65 for a button up so obviously it's a really good brand i might even raise my price on my one that i had there let's see mine is for 28.88 but there's similar ones selling for cheaper like this one's brand new for 31 but still a high sell through rate brand but like let's say i wanted to look up pants so i know the shirts are good for cryptic 62 listed it's really as easy as this and then you go down to sold 27 sold so about a 50 percent sell through rate on the pants but i mean looking at the prices 160 dollars new 59 dollars pre-owned cryptek is a good brand and then I'll, like i'll just do cryptek by itself 1400 lists or 1400 sold Ooh, 400,000 listed. So the brand by itself is not, well, that's weird. Cause there's only 404 used. So I think Cryptek might be like a camo brand that licenses out its camo to other brands like this MAGA Donald Trump hat maybe. Um, but if I just do used, Total, there are, you can look down here, 390 used for all of Cryptek. 434 sold. So if you find Cryptek branded stuff, it's gonna be pretty good. Look at these 511, look at this 511 tactical kilt. $122 is sold for. And then you can kind of find new bolos by looking up. Well, tactical kilts are really good, first off, but I, I think the Cryptek camo is like this weird, like modern kind of digital thing. So there we go. Cryptek camo stuff is really good. Let's see what else I found in the thrift. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm doing this on my iPad, so it's a little weird. Livsen, L-I-V-S-N. So I found some Livsen pants the other day and they sold like within 10 minutes of listing them. So let's look up Livsen pants first. Let's go to listed. So there's 10 listed and then I think it was 23 sold. And there's mine right there. These are the ones I sold, but they use the 20% off coupon. So that's what the logo looks like. Sells really fast. So we know lives and pants have a 200% sell through rate. Let's just look up the whole brand. It's really low volume. 11 listed for all Livsen, and then uh, it was 25 sold. So it's a really low volume brand. The lowest listed, it's another thing I look for, like what's the lowest price that one is listed for? Because then like if you did want to sell something immediately, all you'd have to do is price it a dollar lower than that. That would be this one. But I'm guessing there's something wrong with these. Why 
why else would they be listed for $35 and not be sold? I almost want to buy these and resell them for $10 more, but there might be something wrong. There's a very small hole by the right knee. See pick for details. Yeah, because mine sold immediately um, priced at $75. These ones are um, auctions, so they don't really count. Let me make sure I'm still recording. I'm. Oh yeah, I'm still recording. All right, so Livsen, L-I-V-S-N. I think it's probably an acronym for something. Grayson shirt, men's. The other day I found a bunch of Grayson polos in a Goodwill. Do I have eye boogers? Grayson shirt. And I think it was a high sell through rate. I put it on my list. I don't remember. Okay. 463 listed. And then you can break that down if you want to um, between the conditions here. Like pre owned, there's 314 listed. And then there's over 1,000 sold. So over 100% sell through rate total. And then for if you want to do it on pre-owned, it's a 700% sell through rate for pre-owned. So, I mean, 700% bleh, 700 sold for pre-owned. So it's almost, I think it is a 200% sell through rate for pre-owned as well. And then let's see what the lowest ones sell for. $3, that's on an auction. That guy's stupid. Auction, auction, auction. I don't think the prices are going to be that great. But the sell through rate is really great, which is really what I care more about. Let's see what the highest price. And let's do pre owned. I just want one shirt. So, what you can do um, when you're searching, you can do minus lot. So, like if someone's selling lots, if you're finding a lot of lots when you're doing research, if you do uh, minus whatever word you don't want in the search, it'll take it out. So, then when you look it up again you can see how the lot is gone you could also do that like if you're looking up uh, t-shirts and you don't want to see vintage ones you could do like minus vintage that's a good tip or like you're looking up Disney shirts but you don't want Disneyland shirts or something pre-owned 140 that one's a members members only club shirt. 140 for this Masters collection one. So we have a bolo. If you find ones with the uh, embroidery on them, it looks like all the ones that are selling really high have embroidery on the chest. So embroidery can be good because uh, the ones I was looking at for my comps, none of them had embroidery or patterns. Like, let's look at the lowest ones again. Yeah, $5, $12, to get the second page. Yeah, I priced mine at like $35. Because <laughs> there is so many that are selling for cheaper. Anyways, Grayson with an E, good, for polo shirts. But let's see the whole brand. And we'll do it all conditions. 600, oh sorry. Ooh. Oh, it changed it to an A. 3,600 listed. Ooh, not good. Sorry, it takes a while to do this. So, for some reason, this is adding in Grayson with an A, so that's not helpful at all. But you can maybe, see why did it change it to an A again? Showing results for Grayson, Grayson, search Grayson instead. See, it's not, so that's not helpful. But it is helpful because the next brand I wanted to show you was Grayson with an A. Women's. What I found was a Grayson women's top, and then it was called the Hero. 
So there is Jesus. There's 103 listed for Grayson, the hero top. And then sold. 140 sold. So over 100% sell through rate. Let's look at the prices highest first. Brand new, 141. Let's look at used only. $75, 75, 70, 69, 70, 65, 68, 59. On my desktop, there's actually a plugin you can get. So like if it's a slash through price, when you're looking up comps under it, it will show the actual price that it sold for. I forget what it's called, but I think if you just look up, um, like look up like actual eBay sold comps. I don't remember what it's called and I'm sorry, but there is a plugin you can get, which I have on my desktop or on my laptop. But yeah, you can sell these shirts for about 50 bucks and they're over hundred percent sell through rate. So when something's, or wait, they're not over hundred percent. Wait, yeah, they are. Um, so when something's over hundred percent sell through rate, what I do is just price it higher towards the top um, and then accept offers. Uh, when it's not 100% sell through rate, I price it towards the bottom and accept offers. So that specific top, the hero, is good. But I think Grayson top in general is not as good. So 209 sold for Grayson top. <laughs> yeah, 1,200 listed. So that's why you got to look everything up. So you can't just be like... And this is showing Frank and Eileen Grayson which Frank and Eileen is actually a really great brand as well. Let's take out the word Frank. See how that works? So 93 listed for Grayson tops and 17 sold. How is that possible? I'm confused. 17 sold. 43 listed. Sorry, I'm just getting confused here. <laughs> Grayson Women's Top minus Frank Hero. Six listed, four sold. Hmm. But wait, when I put Frank back in, why is it showing 140 now? Oh, so maybe what the hell? See, this one says Grayson. The here is Grayson made by Frank and Eileen. Okay, so Grayson might be like some sort of Frank and Eileen brand. Because some of them say Grayson the Hero and Frank and Eileen. It is very similar to Frank and Eileen. The shirt that I found, it had the buttons on the, um, on the uh, men's side. See, now there's way more results when I, when I put the word Frank back in, but... There's no Frank in the title here. Sorry, I'm confused. Sometimes it happens, you get confused. Um, but anyways, Grayson the Hero shirt, they're good. TNLO shirt. And Frank and Eileen is also really good. For those like boyfriend button up shirts. So I found a button-up shirt in the Goodwill the other day. It was a men's though. Or price high to low. Let's just do um, uh, newly listed. So that'll show what sold most recently. About 30 bucks and there's 11 sold and how many listed? 13 listed, so low volume, high sell through rate, not quite 100%, that's mine right there. Hasn't sold yet. 
but it does have a high sell through rate. So a lot of times, because I'll be looking at pretty much every brand that I don't know, I'll find a lot of these little brands that have a high sell through rate, low volume. But the problem with that, even though theoretically it should, like if something with a low volume has 100% sell through rate, it should sell exactly as fast as something with a high volume with 100% sell through rate. But someone can easily ruin the market. Like let's say I found five Tianello shirts. Now it has um, half the sell through rate. Do you understand? But Tianello shirts do have a high sell through rate. They're just like these um, soft, I think it was like rayon or tinsel. This is mine, nice pattern. I think it's vintage too. Yeah, made in USA. <laughs> but let's just look up the whole brand, Tianello. 811 listed. Why isn't it showing me how many are sold? 375 sold, so 50% sell rate for the whole brand. Still pretty solid. And there are some higher prices ones that sell. 110 bucks. Hundred bucks. So TNLO, it's worth picking up. All right, what else is on my list? Fab India Bush shirt. Found one of these at Eco Thrift the other day. There are eight listed. Mine should be right there. And then sold. Why isn't it showing? Five sold, so not 100% sell through rate. Actually ruined it a little bit listing mine because it was um, seven listed, five sold. But that's still a pretty good volume. It's like 60% and the prices are decent. 29 bucks, 25 bucks, 24 bucks. 12 bucks, 13 bucks, 25, that's not the same thing. But let's just look up the whole brand, Fab India. I'm always looking for, I find a lot of like um, Indian garb around here and I can never find anything that's good. I think like it's Fab India, it's one word. I think it means Fab India. So I think it's like Indian clothing. Mm -hmm. 331 listed 169 sold so that's a decent sell rate. it's 50 percent that's something i would pick up if it's got higher prices which like a lot of these do have higher prices so i think fab india might be a fabric company because like this is east fab india cotton so maybe you'll find another brand with Fab India on the tag and that'll make it more uh, valuable. See how you learn things when you look things up. And a lot of these are like women's tunic tops. So if you see a women's tunic top, or maybe this is even a men's, I don't know. Worth looking into, these prices are good. Okay, Fab India, good. Ganesh Himmel. This is another Indian thing, I think. I've been looking up a lot. Jesus Christ. Two sold. Well, no, because there's three. One, two, three. I don't know. I swear it was good when I looked it up seven listed and there's mine sometimes that'll happen you'll look something up and you'll see comps and then they're just not there anymore i mean this was like a week or two ago that i looked it up so they could have fallen off but probably just bad research this is why promoted listings are cool because here's me and then here's me again just in case they forget And this is why you don't need to crop your photos. Here's a rectangle picture and it fits nicely. Like it doesn't need to be a square. It's just a waste of time. Okay, anyways, I guess that brand's not that great. 
Katten, this brand is fire. Pretty much everything you find from this brand will sell really quick. Hundred and eighty three listed for cat and shirt. I don't think the sell rate is a hundred percent, we'll see. Hundred and twenty eight sold, but prices are solid. Let's look. Oh shit. Sorry. Pre owned. Um, let's look at newly sold. Twenty two bucks, twenty two bucks, twenty two bucks. 18 bucks, 24 bucks. That's mine right there. 2588. That's sold the same day I listed it. Cat and shirts. Okay. About 20, 25 bucks in my experience. Cat and shorts. Really good. 380 sold. 558 listed. So not 100% sell through rate, but. I swear to you, they sell fast. Look at Cat and Corduroy shorts. Corduroy shorts. This is a Bolo brand. This brand sells really well. All right, so there's 19 listed for the Corduroy shorts. 31 sold. So over 100% sell through rate. This is what made me start looking into this brand more because I found a pair of Corduroy shorts. Let's see if I can find mine. There they are. I listed them for 49.88. And they sold same day for forty two fifty. They didn't even use the coupon. They just sent an offer that was like six dollars off. And they're just basic cotton shorts, cotton corduroy shorts. The corduroy ones obviously have a better sell through rate, and it's like that for a lot of brands. And then sometimes I'll just do like, I wonder what the sell through rate for corduroy shorts is in general. So 1,200 sold of corduroy shorts. I want elastic. Oh, I don't need elastic waist. But the elastic waist ones do better. So in general, all brands, there are 1,500 about listed. Let's see, just look at used. Pre-owned, there's 831 listed. And pre-owned, there are 825 sold. That's for all brands of corduroy shorts. The term corduroy shorts, just all brands has 100% sell through rate. Isn't that insane? So corduroy shorts are a bolo in any brand. They are like the best thing you can find. That's insane. There's no other thing that I've found where all the brands that you look up are 100% sell through rate. So there you go. Let's see what else we got on here. Free fly skort. All right, there are a total of seven listed. Sold. 19 sold, so that's like almost a 300% sell through rate. There's mine that sold right there. And the lady wants to return it. Too big, she says. But low, low prices, not great prices, but 300% sell through rate. The logo looks like this. Right there. Right there is the logo. Let's just look up the whole brand Free Fly. I don't it's gonna come up with all sorts of random crap. So not great for a shirt, nine bucks. So I'd say overall the brand sucks. Just sometimes I'll just look at the first couple listings and I'll be like, oh this brand sucks. Um six seventy eight listed. Actually, the brand does not suck. 883. The whole brand is over 100% sell through rate, but shitty prices. So this is definitely a great Ben's brand because it's going to flip super fast, but bad prices. But the Squirts, you can get over 20 bucks for. Free Fly. Steo. This is another really good brand. It's similar to Cat I don't think it's 100% sell through rate, but I'm telling you, if you list it correctly, it sells super fast. Um, I just sold a pair of Steo board shorts and they sold like within minutes of listing them. So for Steo board shorts, um, I probably should have priced them higher. There are 19 listed and 
11. See, I priced them lower because they weren't 100% sell through rate, but they still sold immediately. It's like a 60% sell through rate. <sighs> and they sold immediately with a coupon for 28.88. That's mine right there. And you'll find a lot of like just base layer t-shirts, like performance t-shirts, and they'll just have Steo written on them. Um, let's look up Steo shirt. 158 listed. Ooh, 254 sold for Steo shirt. And it looks like a lot of them are the flannels. So let's look up Steo flannel. Twenty nine listed for the flannels. Sold fifty three. So that's like almost two hundred percent sell through rate for the flannel shirts, and the prices are solid, like over thirty bucks. Anything else? All right, that is it. Thank you for watching.